All right, one more technique from the butterfly guard here. So uh, the grip I always look for is the two on one grip here. That's what I prefer. Or we'll go to the same side. In this case, we're gonna go cross grip, which is also a really good grip for guard retention and attacks here. So there's one choke here that a lot of people may not expect is getting a cross grip here. And if you see the opportunity, if their head is low, whatever it may be, we can real quick come around the other side for our cross choke. So we're just grabbing here grabbing whatever material we can, pulling in. You may not finish it from here. What's gonna happen a lot of times, this is not that secure of a position, is your partner may counter this or go to grip fight or go to back away. What we're gonna do here is, again, go to the knee here with our foot and we're just gonna kick this out and break camera's posture and here we can finish the cross choke. One more time from the other side. Again, we're working on grip right in here. We get a nice, deep cross collar grip here. If we see the opportunity, camera's head may be low, whatever it may be, doesn't feel terribly threatened by this, we're gonna real quick come around here, grab whatever material we can, attack a cross choke. You may not finish it. Camera's gonna go to defend. We go foot to knee right away, and we're gonna push it and break Cameron's posture, making this choke much tighter, much easier to finish. We get the tap. Thank you.